this is problem number seven on the multiple choice, and the question reads, the system of linear equations, y equals x minus two, and one fifth x plus one fifth y equals two fifth, has one, uh, one solution, no solution, or infinitely many solutions. So, and also this is a bonus uh, question, so maybe a little tricky which answer you're picking, it might be the one you know, you might have to check your work a little more, maybe. But um, the way I like to approach this is by trying to find some sort of pattern in either one of the equations. And I'll explain that in a little bit. First, I'm going to say a few of the ways that people uh, attack this problem. So one way would be to solve in either one of the equations, solve for one of the variables, and plug them into the second equation. For example, in this case, the first equation is already solved for y. So if you were to plug in this y into here, then you'd have an equation that has all x's, you'd solve for x, and then to solve for y, you plug it back into the, this one up here, and then you get y. Another way people do this is by uh, subtracting top minus bottom. If you get all the x's, y's, and the numbers on the same side of the equation, on the top equation and on the bottom equation, and you find a factor that you could use to cancel one of them, you would you could subtract both of them or add both of them to do the same thing. So that one uh, that I just explained and the one where you substitute are kind of very similar. Um, so I'm going to use some of those, but mostly I'm going to use patterns. So patterns simplifies a lot uh, what I'm about to do, and also you could finish with your questions for this test way faster, right? And you basically save a lot of time. So this equation down here, I see that each one of the co coefficients or each one of the components of the equation has a denominator of 5. So I'm going to try to get rid of that. So the pattern is each one has a denominator of 5. I'm going to get rid of them by multiplying each side by 5 so that when I, f I factor this in, this 5 and that 5 cancel, this 5 and this 5 cancel. And then on this side, I'm left with just the 2 as well. So then that turns out to be x plus y equals to 2. So I've simplified something that looks very intimidating and very complicated to something that I really like and that makes me happy, you know? This one and that one look very, very nice and happens to be that they don't have coefficients in the front, which is better to work with. So my next step is I'm, I'm going to try to get this equation to look like that uh, because it seems like they might be the same. And in the case that they are the same, this answer would be infinitely many solutions because they each ha they each share a, uh, a solution. So meaning, if they were the same, if you plugged in one here and you got one back, when you plug one here, you have to get one back. So they share that point. And then say you plug in two, you get two back. You plug in two and you get two back here, um, then they share that point as well. So that means they share every single point. So they share infinite number of points and you would have infinite a number of solutions. But uh, we have to just make sure that they are the same. So to do that, let's make this look similar to that. So let's make this have a y on one side and everything else on the other side. So I'm going to subtract x from both sides to cancel it, and I'm going to get y equals 2 minus x. Okay? So now when I compare this to that, this is x minus 2, this is 2 minus x which is the negative of it. So it's really not the same solution. So that, that answer is out of the question. It's not infinitely many solutions. Now, we could use substitution, like I said, at this point, and um, say, OK, let's substitute this y into here. So we're going to put in, into where this y was, we're going to put x minus 2, and then equal 2 minus x. Okay. And so uh, we're going to put x's on one side and numbers on the other side. So let's add x to both sides. And we get 2x minus 2 equals to 2. And then um, let's add 2 to both sides. And we get 2x, this cancels, equals to 4. And now we're going to divide by 2 and get x equals to 2. Okay? Notice how 
many people might have said, oh, well, this is the negative of that, so maybe I can take out a negative and divide it, and if you do that, then um, you get 1 equals uh, negative 1. Basically, you got rid of the x. So you're going to think that it's no solution, or maybe you think that it's infinitely many solutions, but the, the point is, you don't want to divide yet. As long as you can add and subtract, like I did here, uh, then you want to add and subtract. And you can no longer add and subtract, like over here, you have 2x equals 4, that's when you divide. But try not to divide anything by x and, and cancel that, okay? So, uh, the point is, so x was equals to 2. If you were to plug that into here, you would get y, but you don't need to, because all, all you need to know for the answer is that this um, system of linear equations has one solution, and that's going to be answer B on the multiple choice. Okay.